Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to repair and replace this small but critical part under your car, the CV joint boot. It might look simple, but if it breaks, it can lead to serious problems and expensive repairs. What happens when it's broken? When the CV boot is broken, it starts leaking grease. That grease is what keeps your CV joint lubricated and protected. Without it, the joint starts grinding with metal-to-metal -metal contact. Dirt, sand, and water can also get inside the joint, causing it to wear out even faster. You might start to hear clicking noises when turning, feel vibration while driving, or even lose power to your wheels if it gets bad enough. Future danger if left unfixed, if you ignore a torn CV boot for too long, the joint will eventually fail. That means you'll have to replace the entire CV axle, which is much more expensive than just replacing the boot. A failed CV joint can even leave you stranded on the road, unable to move the car. Why early repair saves money? Fixing a CV boot early is cheap. The boot itself only costs a few dollars. Replacing it in time can prevent joint damage and save you from having to buy a whole new axle. If you catch the problem early, you can just clean and regrease the joint, put on a new boot, and be good to go. Why it breaks? So, why does the boot break in the first place? Over time, the rubber or plastic gets old and brittle from heat, road grime, and exposure to the elements. Eventually, small cracks form. When that happens, grease starts leaking out and contamination begins. It's a slow process, but once the damage starts, it only gets worse. How to avoid it? To avoid this problem, regularly inspect the area around your CV boots. If you notice grease splattered around your wheel or suspension, that's a sign the boot is torn. You can also apply rubber conditioner during your maintenance routine to help the boot stay flexible and last longer. When to check it? Make it a habit to check your CV boots every time you change your oil or rotate your tires. It takes just a minute to visually inspect, and it could save you hundreds of dollars down the line. Here's how you fix it. First, remove the axle or the part that gives you access to the boot. Clean off all the old grease and dirt dot dot slide the new boot into position, pack it with fresh grease, and secure it with the provided clamps. Reinstall everything and double check your work. Let's watch the whole process how we repair it. Thank 
And that's it! We've replaced the CV boot, prevented future damage, and saved a lot of money. Remember, taking care of small issues early can keep your car running smoothly and reliably. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.